So if we look at contractions, we're obviously talking about maternal contractions. And just a quick review of the fetal heart rate tracing. You know, we've got a, a strip here, 10, maybe 20 minutes. And on the top, we've got our fetal tracing. And on the bottom, we have our maternal tracing, okay? And there are vertical lines on this tracing as well. And each of those lines represents one minute, okay? So we basically want to look at how many contractions is mom having in one minute? Each one of these humps obviously makes a contraction. You know, sometimes you'll see things that look like, you know, maybe this. That's not a contraction. These sharp peaks usually indicate either uh, maternal movement. You know, mom's adjusting herself in bed. Sometimes it's artifact. If you see those sharp peaks, just to um, chase a rabbit for a second, as we say in the South, if you see those sharp peaks on top of a contraction like this, mom's probably pushing, okay? But in general, these um, these humps here, those are maternal contractions. So we want to take a 10-minute period and we want to count those. And if we count those over a 10-minute period and that number is less than or equal to 5, then the number of contractions mom is having is appropriate. If that number is more than five, I'm sorry, let me scratch that. So it would be less, it would be greater than or equal to six, but we'll just say more than five. If that number is more than five, then mom is said to be in tachysystole. That is a hard word to write and talk at the same time. So mom is said to be in tachysystole if there are more than five contractions in a 10-minute period, and something needs to be evaluated. You may need to adjust some medications or add some medications like uh, a tocolytic, okay, like terbutaline to slow those down. So that's maternal contractions. So our, the next in our, um, in our CVBAD is V, but we're going to talk about B next. So we'll actually just talk briefly about... Um, We'll talk briefly about uh, baseline, and then we'll move to variability, okay? So in the next lecture, we're going to talk about baseline.